Hello, everyone. My name is、uh, Liu Baoyan from the China Academy of Chinese Medical Science. First of all, thanks the chairman of the conference of the giving giving me the opportunity to participate in this conference. Today, I will introduce the rule of the TCM in the A pandemic of the COVID-19 in China. Everyone knows that the integration of the TCM and the West medicine has become the feature of the China's fight against the epidemic. TCM as the great rule in the control and the treatment of COVID-19 in China. And today, I would like to present our two study based on real-world data from the February to March 2020 in Wuhan. In earlier 2020, COVID-19 broken out in Wuhan, confirmed self-report cases, the suspected. And the close contact of the confirmed cases in Wuhan were mandated to be centrally quarantined in assigned hotels to avoid the family cluster infection. In the case of special management, we urgently established electronics. Registration system for designated quarantine persons using the 2D card, smartphones, and the internet. Register the basic information, clinic manifestations, medications, and outcomes. At the same time, we have organized volunteers. In no epidemic area to provide the remote guidance, consultations, and assistance to quarantined persons with telephone on the internet. The four thousand two hundred seventy-three quarantined persons registered in our system from fourth. February to fifth, the March two thousand twenty, the one hundred volunteers provide more than thirty thousand medical consultations. Before analysis, the outcome all participants were validated with the official submitted data. From the Wuhan CDC, in quarantined persons registered, male, one thousand nine hundred forty-eight; female, two thousand three hundred twenty-five. The middle of age was forty-four years. Forty-two point one. Percent of the participants suffered certain basic disease: hypertension, fatty livers, and di- diabetes were the top three. Fifty-nine percent participants were suffer from certain symptoms: fever, cough. Physical and emotional tension were the top four symptoms and significant among the three subpopulations. Table two showed the medication used during the quarantines. Eighty-four percent participants used the medications. During the quarantine, all of the participants used TCM 
formula, the 39% participant use the integration of the traditional trend pattern medicine, antivirus, and antibiotics. There will significant difference among the three subpopulations. We also collected the safety of the participant and showed in the table three. There was no difference in the discomfort of the subject after taking different drugs. The table four showed after checking with the Wuhan CDC, the 1.73% of the close contact, the 8.95% of the suspected, and the 55.85% of the surf reported confirmed the patient was well finally diagnosed this cohort was valuable and reflected the active quarantine situation of the earlier epidemic of the COVID-19 in Wuhan. We can have those conclusions. First, there were different symptoms among close contact suspects and confirm the self-reported population. And we need provide approve a provide intervention according to different symptoms and population characteristics during the quarantine, especially for emotional tension. The second most patient tend to take several type medication, and nearly half of them take TCM, antiviral drugs, and antibiotics at the same time. The third, the registry data has its limitations of the bias from volunteer participation, and self-reporting, confounding by indication and mission data. Now I introduce the second study, a retrospective cohort study of the hospital registries. As we know, TCM has been intensively used in the China during the COVID-19 outbreak, based on the fact that a high participation rate of the TCM and the low fatality rate of the overall case. But the evidence supported by scientific data is still lacking. The purpose of this study was to use the five hospitals in Wuhan treatment of real-world data COVID-19 full cases to assess the effect of the end on TCM. First, I briefly introduce the study design from the four aspects. The, this study was the retrospective cohort study. The patient in treatment group received a standard care and on TCM decoction of a herbal medicine. Patient in the con control group received only standard care the data was from the five hospitals in Wuhan treatment of the real-world data, COVID-19 full cases. The primary outcome 
is the fatality rate. The Cox regression analysis and the propensity score matrix analysis was used to analyzing the data. Here, standard care means the patient using antivirus, antibiotics, or home mix, and other clinic treatment, and Chinese patent medicine. The TCM care means the individualized treatment based on the syndrome deviation according to the patient conditions using the decoction of herbal medicine. The fig reflected the follow of the data extraction. Electronic medical record of the all admitted COVID-19 patients at any point during the hospitalization from five hospitals were retrieved with ETL2 to integrate and normalize the data from different operation sources, followed by clinicians' uh, validation. The 2,235 confirmed the COVID-19 patients were admitted to the five hospitals during the 15 January and 13 March 2020 in total. 1,788 patients were included in the analysis. The 10 pediatric patients 11 patients hospitalized for less than two days, and 426 patients with an unclear outcome were excluded. The 1,694 patients used TSM decoction of herbal medicine. This table shows the distribution of the number of the cases from the original to the final study in the five hospitals. Prior to outbreak of the COVID-19, we developed an electronic clinic management system, human machine cooperative phenotypic uh, spectrum annotation system that use clinic reference information model and a physical data model to manage the various information in tests and the, their relationship in complex clinic data involving both conventional and traditional Chinese medicine. ETL2 was in <coughs> implemented to integrate and normalize the clinic data from different operation data sources. So obtain, obtain the data from the five hospitals and transferred to the clinic data warehouse. This warehouse contains all of the clinic data available on all of the inpatient and outpatient visits to the five hospitals, including patient demographics uh, consultation notes, laboratory, radiological investigations, a pharmacy record, and a discharge status. In this study, propensity score method were used to adjust for potential 
confounder to account for the non-randomized allocation of the same individualized TSM treatment. The distribution of protection the score between the same individualized TSM user and the standard care control group was balanced by matching. The first site of the imputation was used. The 10 sites of imputation were generated and the results were comparable. The result of cohort characteristics, form, age, and gender distribution. We found that total fatality rate is the 4.5%. Male is 6.02%. The mean age is 57 years, 49.2% from the male cases. It's obvious that age is an important factor in fatality. The table showed the distribution of age and gender from the treatment group and control group, there were significant differences in age between the two groups. So we balanced this factor in match cohort. The competitive was no significant difference between the two groups. Fever, cough, and fatigue were the main symptoms, and there was no significant difference between the two groups. This table is a laboratory investigation result. From the therapy results, antivirus was used more in the treatment group. Matched cohort had been balanced. This prognosis result, there was a significant difference in fatality rate between group. We balanced the baseline feature. The fatality rate was still significant. We found end-on TSM was associated with reduced fatality in COVID-19 patients, especially in severe group. This slide show the higher the proportion of the prescription, the more averse the reduction of the fatality, especially in severe patients. This slide shows the result of the laboratory test, such as the C-reactive protein, indicating that increasing TCM treatment can also improve the biochemistry in indicators. These are two real-world clinical studies both show that TSM has potential effectiveness in the prevention and the treatment of COVID-19, not only for mild cases, but also for severe cases. It's a measured worth of widespread clinic promotion, but mastering TSM syndrome differentiation is a key. These two studies have several limitations. The further study and analysis need to be conducted to 
validated the accuracy of the traditional Chinese medicine. Thank you for your attention.